I don't know how much. Oh my. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show where it's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Today on Tasty Tuesday, we are making poutine. Not a fancy way to say the leader of Russia's name. Poutine is a dish from Canada that is basically french fries and gravy. Really working on our summer bod this week. No, I actually picked it because we are currently en route to Canada for the Just for Laughs Festival in Montreal. If you are in Canada and would like to see us, come by, come meet us. We're doing a live version of our podcast tomorrow, Wednesday, at a hotel, I don't know. Follow me on Twitter, I'll tweet about it. Or follow me on Instagram stories. You know, so lots of places you can follow me if you wanted to do that. It's something you could do. It's something you could do right now. I'll wait. Thank you for your follow. I've been to Canada once before. I'm not sure if I've ever had poutine. I don't think I have. Wait, maybe I have. If I have, it was not memorable. So I thought we would make it today. And even though it is as simple as french fries and gravy, I don't think I've ever made french fries, ever. And I love french fries. What the fuck? So we're gonna make that today, or we're gonna see if we can make it. I don't know if we can make it. Maybe we can't make it. And that's what we're gonna find out. Let's make this dish. Step one, we're gonna preheat our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Get up. To my level, oven. Yes, hot. That's what level I'm on in my head. Are you with me? Are you picking up what I'm poutine down? <laughs> Starting off with a bang. Next, we're gonna take four russet potatoes and we're going to turn them into french fries. So we're gonna half this lengthwise first. We're gonna half our potatoes and eat it too. Then the recipe says after you cut it lengthwise is to cut them into wedges and then into matchstick french fries. What, wedges? I've never even done wedges before. What does that mean? Are we gonna do this right? What is even a wedge? Oh, oh, I think I got it. Oh, yeah. Does that look like a french fry? This looks like a french fry. Does it? Yes? Maybe not. We're, we're, we're getting really close. I think they could be a little smaller. Can't we all? You really could. Where's my wine? Okay, our fries are cut. That took an eternity, quite frankly. And if anyone ever asked me to cut fries again, like, I think I'm good. Like, I'm not, I don't need to. I'm like, fried. Yeah, I said it. Step next. I don't know what step we're on. We're gonna put some parchment paper on our baking sheets. We have two baking sheets. I don't think I even mentioned these baking sheets. Hello. Nice to meet you. Here you are. Welcome to the show for your viewing pleasure. We're gonna cover it with parchment paper. Did I say that? Do it. Next, we will be putting our fries on the baking sheet. Wow. Wow. We are just at the beginning of this video. I'm gonna spread these evenly. Some of these are way thicker than the other ones. And you know what? That's okay, I love your body. Maybe they shrink in the oven. Maybe they're laundry. Done. Then we're gonna take some either melted coconut oil or avocado oil. These have high smoke points, so that's why we're recommending these oils. Three to four tablespoons we're gonna put onto our fries here. And then, and then I'll tell you the next step. You just put your patient pants on, okay? It's not a race, it's a marathon. Three to four tablespoons. Ooh, baby. Daddy, this is for you. So we're gonna go like this a little bit. Can you see? Okay, we're gonna go like this so we can evenly coat our potatoes in oil because they need it to become fries. Oh yeah, baby daddy. Are there any baby daddies watching? Comment below. After our fries are coated, we're gonna arrange them in like a single layer as much as possible. Like try not to make them overlap because we want to evenly crisp them. After we got our fries arranged on a single layer, we're gonna add some sea salt by the seashore. I mean, I guess you could use regular salt. I don't know, I'm not that pretentious. That's just what the recipe said and that's what I happen to have. How much? We don't know. I think that sounds good. This ain't in and out We're not fry experts. Actually, I really hate in and out fries. I think they could use like some experts. Next, we're gonna put these in the oven, uh, tossing at least once. During the 25 to 35 minutes, they will be in there. Oh my gosh, there's no room for both of these. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Maybe figure out your oven ahead of time. I've never used both racks before. Leave me alone. He's like me. Too hot, you know, too hot. Ah! Okay, 25 to 35 minutes, which means the halfway point is math. Halfway point is 18, 12, 13, you got it. Next, while our french fries are getting all crispy in there, we're gonna start preparing the gravy that goes on top of them. It says to use a rimmed skillet. What? Is that a rim? I don't give a fuck. Medium heat. Once our rimmed skillet is hot, we're gonna add three tablespoons of melted coconut oil. Thank you, Los Angeles Heat Wave, for keeping this oil nice and melted. Three tablespoons, baby daddy. I guess it wasn't hot yet, because it didn't do the like thing. Oops. Also to our oil, we're gonna add 
two medium shallots that have been minced. Boom, there's that sound I was looking for. We're gonna saute our shallots for about two to three minutes, stirring occasionally. Sorry, I think I stirred way more than occasionally just now. Really quick, I'm just gonna unstir it. Occasionally only. Okay, it's, it's been an occasion. Okay, once your shallots have been doing whatever they're doing right now for two to three minutes, we're gonna add one and a half cups of diced cremony or button mushrooms. I went with cremony because that's the only kind that I could find. Boom. Also to this, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And we're not even gonna measure. We're just gonna use our hand. So what do you gotta say about that? Oh shit, that's way more than a quarter teaspoon. Oh no, please. And one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. We're gonna stir and increase the heat to medium high. Whoa, big deals. To brown the mushrooms. I feel like my mushrooms are already brown. I guess they're gonna brown some more. You know what? Pay attention, this is serious. Once our mushrooms are all browned and caramelized, we're gonna add three tablespoons of cornstarch. Dry them up, you know? That's what the recipe says. It says they should look dry. It's okay, we've all been there. What does that mean? Can tell you one thing. The recipe smells really good at this point. I mean, we could stop here and I'd be happy. We're not stopping. We're gonna add three tablespoons of cornstarch and get this show on the road. Yep, that looks real dry. And that's okay. Then we're gonna lower our heat to low, but we're gonna slowly add some vegetable broth and almond milk, but I don't know how much. Oh my god, I totally forgot we were multitasking. We gotta check on our fries. What is priority? Fry flipping or adding coconut and we're gonna add liquids and then we're gonna fry flip. How about that? Wow. More honey. Husbands that are at this shoot. We got yeah. half a cup of vegetable broth happening. We got men in their pajamas happening. Hey, not me. What the fuck? <laughs> Let me All tell right. you something. Wood man. You can smell this like down the hall. I'm like, man, it was so good. Yes! And yeah. Closer and yeah. closer. I told you, half a cup. We're doing this. And along with the vegetable broth, we need one cup of almond milk. Unsweetened, please. Please. Slowly, it says. That was pretty slow. <laughs> it says to whisk it. If you don't whisk, you don't win. That's all I have to say about that. It should start looking like gravy pretty quickly, says the recipe. Mine still looks like milk, but maybe I'll turn the heat up a little bit. I believe it just really looks like old cereal. Not looking like gravy for me right now. We're just gonna let that do its thing. We really need to flip these fries. So I'm gonna take these fries out, we're gonna flip them. We're gonna get some even ass crispiness going on here. If it's the last thing I do, flip you, flip you. And putting these back in. You've been flipped. Wow, these got way more crispy than the others. Okay, some fries are gonna be more crispy than other fries, but you know what? Every fry is beautiful. You've been flipped. Set our handy dandy timer to another 10 minutes. This still does not look like gravy. It's gonna be, this looks like gravy flavored milk. Mmm. Okay, once our gravy has reached the desired consistency, which I would say this is pretty desirable. I desire you, you're welcome. We're gonna transfer it into a blender and blend until smooth. This part is optional, but you should opt in, is what the recipe says. Get some little thickness going on. Beyonce, come on, Kim Kardashian. Blender time. Please don't splash on me, please, please, please don't splash on me. Oh my God. Don't worry, everything is gravy over here. <laughs> also to our blender, we're gonna add two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, which I'm using Annie's brand. Now let's blend this bitch. I'm just kidding, you're not a bitch. Jeez. All right, are you smooth? Once our gravy is smooth, like my shallot mincing skills. Did you see my shallot mincing skills? Smooth. We're gonna taste it and see if it needs adjusting. Ooh, that tastes good. Wow, I could eat this just as is. No, no adjustment. Maybe a little bit more salt. More salt. Okay, that was a lot more salt. More pepper. Oh, damn, that's good. Oh, that's good. You should taste this. Wow. Do you like mushrooms? This is good. Okay, so let's return it back to the pan and put it on the lowest heat possible just to keep it warm. Done and done. I don't know if these are, are done yet. Okay, maybe these are not done yet. Okay, I think these bottom ones are done. You look done. We're gonna take these out. Okay, I took them out already. Calm down, wow. Okay, I'm gonna put these in for a little bit longer than you should be on low. Are you done? Ow. Okay, it's not ready yet. Okay, I think our second batch of fries is done now, hopefully. If not, they're gonna have to suck it up. 
this batch of fries is done and it tastes amazing. I may or may not have tasted it. I definitely tasted it. It tastes amazing. Hi, are you done? Do you taste amazing too? Is it okay to put this on this counter? I don't know. Okay, they're making noises. I feel like it's fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna consolidate the fries onto one baking pan. And yes, they did shrink in the oven. Wow, shrink it Boom. The next step is to put some mozzarella curds on top of them. So we're just gonna take a teaspoon and scoop out some curds. I'm using this uh, non-dairy mozzarella called Miyoko's. I don't know if it's good, but we're gonna find out. Yum. It doesn't say how many of these to put on here, so I'm just kinda going with my gut. A lot, put a lot. Then we're gonna set our oven to medium broil. I don't know, I've never really broiled before, so excuse me, you know? Oh, we only have high or low, so let's go high. I guess we're all high. Oh, medium to low. No, I fucked up. Okay, so low. Boom, we're all low. To the victor goes the broil. Three to five minutes. Cool. Okay, our fries have been broiling for more than five minutes and they look exactly the same. I don't wanna wait any longer. Excuse me, off. You feel like hell. You feel like legitimately Hades lives here. So next, all we have to do now is put them on a plate and smother them with gravy. America or Canada, just some routine poutine going on. Do you like me? Please subscribe. Damn, 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 damn. I don't know if this is conveying how good it tastes, but I've tasted the gravy and french fries separately and they taste delicious. So we're gonna see what the Tasty Tuesday man thinks and that will conceal this Tasty Tuesday's fate. It's serious. Do you know what this is? This is called poutine. I've been to Canada one time. Did you try poutine? My illustrious wife. We illustrious? were not married yet. My illustrious wife. Ah, it's a Canadian dish that is basically french fries and gravy. It's very famous and people get very pretentious so I do you know why I made this? Because we're going to Canada. Because when this airs, or when it airs, it's so pretentious. When, when, network when, this, <laughs> when this episode airs, we will be on our way to Canada. Where they have all the poutine. So I wanted to let everyone. Very famously gravy and french fries. And this is very famously thick and bam. You know, is it as, good? As Canadians would say. Is it tasty? If I was a Canadian Monte, I would say, good day, sir. You know what I'm saying? Does that mean it's bad? Yeah, it's good. Why are you leaving? Oh. I think it's good. It's good. Very so good. You're good day, sir, because you're staying. Uh, well, I'll just put it like this. Uh, good day, sir. <laughs> wow, you won't say it's tasty? No, I'm saying you're Canadian. Uh, it's tasty? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, I think I'll take it. I've been waiting all shift. Oh, that's bomb. Oh, that's real bomb. These french fries are better than any french fries I've ever had. Holy shit. These are so good. I mean, they're very good. I'm the best. That's a crazy <laughs> thing to say, but good for you. I'm proud of yeah, you. Yeah, no, this is like exactly how I like them. Looking like mushy? Crispy, but mostly mushy. Yeah, she looks a mushy as well. I am. But like a little crispy. Like not like raw. Yeah. You know? It's dang good. Can I just real yes. quick complain because people think that I'm like full of it because I have only reviewed your shit being as really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, first of all, as a very very laid man, I can just tell you right now that Nikki's just gotten better at cooking. It's crazy. Like when we first started, she wasn't as good as cooking as she is now. That's true. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. Also make this. Wow. And yeah, also follow good. us on Instagram because we will be posting about being in Canada. And also if you're in Canada, come say hi. Why won't you say hi? Hey, follow me too on Instagram. Don't follow. Okay, we gotta go.